What is your dream kit? I know for a lot of people, it's building up a RC tractor trailer or a tank or maybe even a large scale machine. And for some, it's just building up a kit with all the scale accessories that they would really like to have. And you know what? We get a lot of vehicles in here and, and some of them are my dream vehicles and I get to share it with you guys, which is very, very cool. And you know, recently I've gotten a couple of emails asking me like, what would you want to build? What would be your thing that you would get and, and really enjoy building? And to be honest, with you one of the kits that i've always wanted was a vanquish vs 410 i never got to try out one of those original kits and i never got to share it with you but luckily i was able to talk to vanquish and look what just arrived here at the workshop the vs 410 pro and i am really excited to get into this kit and and check out all the details on it i mean i've heard so many great things about the kit and uh, i've had some vanquish stuff in the past i've had an xr10 crawler all decked out in vanquish gear i've had some vanquish stuff on some scx10 builds in the past but it's been a while since i've actually held some cool vanquish stuff in my hands and now i finally have that opportunity here with this kit so what I'm gonna do with this particular kit, since I'm pretty excited about it, pretty excited to show you all the inner workings of this truck is, I'm gonna bring it over to the workbench and showing you each of the elements that really set this kit apart from others and, and why you would wanna buy it. Why it's really a dream kit all in one box that you could get at an affordable price. And I know you know the price tag does seem uh, you know kinda of high to some, but when you go and see all the stuff that you get in this kit and all the background of what goes on in, in building a kit like this, that's actually an affordable price. So if you have the ability to save up and get it, you know, I think you're going to want to. But you know what? Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's see what the VS410 Pro is all about. Wow, what an amazing kit to build up. You know, when you get to build a kit from the ground up such as this, especially one with a little bit of a higher price tag, you really get to see the inner workings of it and why everything costs what it does. You know, the machine work in here is just incredible. Uh, the quality of the components used, the quality of the materials. I mean, everything in this truck is just top notch, you know, through and through, and even down to the building experience itself. I mean, it was just so easy to assemble. Everything fit perfectly together without issue. I mean, even down to the instruction manual, super easy to follow and build up the truck. You know, I mean, the only thing that held me up was really just taking all the video of everything, which I'm about to show you. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm gonna talk about each individual part, show you guys some details of it, and let's start off with the axles. Okay, so let me pop the body off of this thing. We'll talk about that actually kind of last because that was the, the last part of the assembly. But what we're gonna start off with here is the Curry axles. Now these are licensed axles and these are aluminum. These are just absolutely incredible. They're like works of art really. And yes, I'm gushing over it. They're really that cool. Um, so they are a licensed Curry axle. And as you can see, the pumpkin is offset in the front and we've got the centered pumpkin in the rear. And that just starts with all the features of this. I mean, there's a lot going on in this axle, but inside we have a ring and pinion gear. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I guess let's start with the, the locker itself. So that is a chrome molly steel, you know, which is a really high grade steel. Vanquish used, you know, quality materials here because they wanted strength throughout this thing. Um, so we've got that, that chrome molly locker. Uh, we've got the steel ring and pinion gear and it's a hypoid ring gear, which is like a spiral cut gear, uh, basically. And then the pinion gear is located up much higher than some of the other kits that are out there. Um, so you get a lot of clearance with this style of axle. And, you know, even in the front with the offset pumpkin, you get more clearance there and just a really well designed setup. I mean, even down to in the rear, we've got the oil cap in the rear housing and everything. Just really cool. Just excellent detail on here. The C hubs are integrated into the axle. You know, Vanquish, they've done their homework. They know exactly where that C hub needs to be placed as far as the caster of it uh, for this type of truck. What's what's also really nice about the axle, and I'm, uh, I'll talk about the links just, just quickly here, is they have a dual shear point for the, uh, for the links. So that means they're captured on both sides. So that way, you know, nothing breaks off or rips off. You know, I don't imagine anybody damaging these, these axles here, but it's just, you know, it goes to show 
show you that they're thinking of the strength of the vehicle and, and you know the, what it's going to endure you know uh, to the max basically and and they've designed it for that so really really nice setup front and rear on this uh, and then up front we've got the knuckles that integrate into it they are machined as well just a really nice steering knuckle ball bearings inside and the ball bearings support the chrome molly universal axles in the front and then we've got chrome molly straight axles in the rear so again there's strength here uh, it's got to take a long time to wear those axles out the universals up front it's just all built to last it's all built to take the abuse and then of course, on the outside here, uh, we've got the 12 millimeter aluminum hexes, and that really wraps up these axles. Just beautifully detailed, and I mean, just the cost of those alone, it's it's a big chunk of the kit. And, and the reason why is it's just the quality there and the machine work that's that's involved in it. I mean, I can't imagine how much time it takes on a machine to create those. So that's just something to think about. All right, up next, we're going to talk about the VS410 chassis. Okay, so if you haven't seen it yet, the VS410 chassis is available separately now uh, for use with other vehicles and stuff, but it's stock, of course, here on this truck. And it is just a beautiful piece of art. Again, you know, from Vanquish, it's just a really well-designed chassis, nice and firm, you know, quality components, again, used throughout. And I'll start off with the C-channel frames here. So they are a high clearance frame, you know, a stamped steel C-channel on there, and then just a lot of cross bracing. So we've got this brace up front, which is actually, you know, integrated as, as the bumper mount uh, and also the servo mount here. And you could actually go and bolt in an additional servo here to use as a winch servo. There's actually a through hole here that is a guide for that winch line. Um, so just neat, neat, all the little details that they thought of throughout this, you know, even just down to the bracing or, you know, the design of it, it, it looks very cool. I like the way it's all set up. So we've got that up front and then in the rear here, we've got this, this cross brace as well. Uh, it's just a huge plate really kind of just seals up the rear of the vehicle as it should be with with a lot of builds You know, I mean, maybe if you're building a truck or something with an open cage in the rear Maybe you want to see through uh, but with this it's closed off. It looks good It looks scale and then in the back We've got the faux fuel tank uh, where you could go and mount some electronics and stuff in there the, the space is kind of awkward inside, especially with the way the bumper comes through and everything. So, you know, mounting stuff is, is a little awkward, but there's definitely some space in there to, to mount your electronics, especially if the receiver is gonna go in there. Plenty of room for that. And then down here, we have the, the lower skid. Uh, as you can see, it is almost perfectly flat here. We've we've basically got, I think it's like a, a, a fake little uh, oil pan thing going on over here with uh, four little bolts. I mean, that's really the only ridges on the bottom of this chassis uh, but as you can see nice and flat where it needs to be even boat sided just a little bit so you don't have any you know clearance issues any hang-ups or anything like that and you know some may be worrying about this this extended skid up front uh, it actually protects the motor here uh, which is really nice and no it doesn't really get in the way of anything because if you go and compress your suspension all the way I mean it's pretty much level with the bottom of the lower links here um, so again you know Vanquish knows what they're doing. They knew, you know, to give you the clearance that you needed right here and it protects the motor in, in the process. But that's just a really nice setup, nice and smooth there. And it looks like, you know, it's got these additional holes here. And I'm guessing that kind of just lets any uh, debris out that may be caught in there. Just a guess, I'm not quite sure on that. And then finally, we've got uh, the side plates. So it's basically like a floor pan here. Uh, and then the, the rails mount to the side of it. And uh, there is uh, plates that mount on the top. And, and this really comes later on in the, in the process uh, assembling these plates on here but i'll talk about it now what's really nice about these plates is they are an aluminum plate it's where you mount your electronics and there's even some slots in here i, I guess so you could go and and secure your electronics down if you wanted to um it didn't it unfortunately didn't line up with the rx4 holes uh, that are on the bottom of this but uh, i just went and two side taped that and then we've got our sliders here uh, that have actually little guides as well that help guide the body in there to keep it nice and secure mounted to the chassis rails are these simple shock towers here what's nice about those is just like the axles it's a dual shear point so instead of one screw going through the shock into the shock tower uh, the screw goes through this way uh, so it's got two mounting points for the shock tower, so there's less flex there. And with some of those single point mounts, there's there's flex, so you won't get that here. And again, Vanquish is always thinking ahead. Uh, the, the body posts do mount there as well. Uh, they give you a number of different body posts in the kit, so you can go and alter those if you want to go and switch out bodies later on. But that really wraps up the chassis on this. And next, I guess we should move along to the VDF transmission. 
Here it is, the VFD transmission, and I really hope I get all the details down in this because there is so much going on in this transmission, and uh, well, I don't even know where to start with it. I guess we'll start off with the gears in here. So of course we've got hardened steel gears throughout the entire uh, the drivetrain here, and what's really nice about these gears is they are a wide gear. So we're, you know instead of like a perhaps like I guess you'd call it a narrow gear, we've got a much wider gear in there, and what that does basically allows you to run higher end electronics in here. You, you can run a motor with more torque. Uh, you know, add more power to the drive line, and, and this drive line is going to take it. Uh, all the shafts in here are chromoly shafts, uh, so you have that again. You know, that really high strength steel uh, to support everything. The the design on here is just very very cool. So the motor is really mounted down below in here, and what that does is it allows the weight to be much lower. So instead of some vehicles where it's up high, it, it raises the CG up. Uh, Vanquish went and they dropped it down really low in the chassis here and again that's why that skid is down there to protect it basically but the motor is mounted nice and low which is just basically going to improve uh, the crawling ability of this truck so up front there is a, a motor plate obviously and this motor plate is six millimeters thick so we're used to seeing like maybe a two millimeter three millimeter thick at max motor plate this thing is six millimeters up front nicely machined anodized black and uh, no slipper clutch on this thing it's just you know straight drive this transmission can take it and i don't think you'd ever want to put a slipper clutch in this just the way everything's built it could take the abuse uh, that that you're going to push through the drivetrain but anyway there is a plastic spur gear up there and they do go and give you a pinion gear also which is really nice you know some kits don't do that vanquish went and give you gave you a pinion gear in there but just the way it goes together it's very cool it's got a realistic transmission look to it uh, which is really nice for, for guys that are building up scale vehicles i mean even down to where the where the shifter would go in it's got the the cap off plate in here which is pretty neat there's gear right under there and you could go and, and pop that off check out your gear status if you want to uh, but it's pretty pretty neat how it's all supported here so we've got these aluminum tubes with the vanquish logo that go to the the back side of the transmission where basically the overdrive transfer case is and so yes this does have overdrive out of the box 6.5 percent to the front and uh, again, all steel gears in there. And what's really nice about the, the transfer case with the overdrive assembly in there is it's all supported by aluminum plates and of course, ball bearings. Ball bearings throughout the entire sealed where they need to be. Uh, in order to protect the, the, the rig and the drive line from the elements. Uh, but it's got really nice guide plates in there. So everything is just keyed in and you're not gonna get any twist within the gears. Again, it's built to, to last even without a slipper clutch on there. So it's really well built. I would say it's even overbuilt. Uh, I don't think there's anything that's, that could possibly wreck this transmission. Really cool setup the way it's designed, the way it looks, even down to the way it mounts. You know, it does mount with more screws than, than a normal kit. You know, usually we see like four or something, but there, I think there's one, two, three, four, five screws in here. Uh, two mounted up front to the chassis, and then we've got uh, more screws in the back that mounted to the lower skid. And, and even though there's a lot going on in there, you know, it's really easy to assemble. That's why I have the instructions out here that, you know, everything just flows nice and smoothly uh, as far as assembling it goes. And there really isn't any issues whatsoever assembling it. The one thing I wanted to point out though is there is a guide pin in that rear transmission assembly. Don't forget to put that in. I did. All right, let's move on to the drive shafts. And these drive shafts here are the incision drive shafts. They're steel drive shafts. Unbelievable the way these things look. They feel nice and smooth, operate, you know, slide in and out of each other nice and smooth. And just the bulk around the universal is just massive on these. And uh, again, I think they're gonna take up the abuse of that, that people are gonna put on a truck like this. All right, with that said, let's talk about the shocks and links. So the shocks on here are the incision shocks. They come pre-assembled actually. That's really the only thing in the truck kit that, that comes assembled. All you have to do is add the oil to it. Really nice shock. It's got a decent sized shock shaft on there, X-rings inside, all aluminum shock body with threaded collars on there. And even the top cap is full aluminum on it. Uh, you know, coiled spring with the adjustable preload collars, of course. And even down to the lower shock perch, it does have a screw through it to, to clamp it to make sure it doesn't pop off during or run now you are going to have to go and fill these and that's kind of where the the only gripe i have with this entire kit 
Um, it was a little difficult to get the shocks uh, uh, filled just right. Uh, every time I put the cap back on, I was getting a little bit of, of leak. The bladder inside would slip a little bit, drop inside the body. So that was a little difficult, uh, you know. So that's the only thing where I would say really spend your time uh, to build the shocks right because they are nice shocks. So once you get it done right, it, they should work really well and they feel really, really smooth once they're done. They're a little on the small side, just looking at them. I think they're very scale, but uh, you know, we're starting to see some other shocks come out that are a bit larger of a bore. But uh, again, everything feels really good out there. Can't wait to go out and test it on the rocks, see what it does out there. Now, next up is the link. So we've got a three link setup up front with a pan hard bar and then the triangulated four link in the rear. And these are the incision links. They're a, a stainless steel link. They're pretty heavy. So, you know, it's not a brass link, but it's got some weight to it. And uh, I mean, just really, really nice links, really well machined. And even the rod ends, the rod ends are a nice thick rod end with a steel pivot ball. And, uh, you know, a lot of kits out there have a plastic pivot ball. These are all steel from the factory, which is nice. And then up front, we've got our, our drag link, which is also the same stainless steel bar, and then our steering link as well. The front is obviously bent for clearance, uh, but just a really nice setup. And, and I wanna go back to the steering knuckles, uh, you know, one more time here. Uh, they have a top cap on them that helps uh, secure uh, the links in there. And uh, again, everything is a dual shear where it's got, uh, you know, it's captured on both the top and the bottom of the link. And so the top caps of these steering knuckles are, are really well designed. They key right into the top of the knuckle to help support everything. And even the knuckle over here, the top cap actually has five screws in it. It's more of a stress point here. Uh, so they went and braced it even more. I mean, just the little details that you see when you're building this makes you really more excited about you know owning this kit. All right, now next up, let's talk about some of the finishing details. All right, so I'm kind of going to jump around the truck here and actually I'll start off with the bumpers. So you can see these are very high clearance bumpers here. Uh, you know, they're going to allow, you know, for some really steep approach angles, really nice setup. And it's just a really nice looking bumper too. Kind of on the simple side up front, you've got this, you know, fair lead kind of just molded into it, which allows you to, you know, have that winch if you want to. Uh, but again, I like that front bumper and I like the rear bumper too. Nice and it's like sucked in basically, uh, gives you your clearance and then they do actually give you two options for uh, the, the rear hitch. You could go and put a ball hitch on there or you could go and put a shackle on there, which is, is pretty neat to have that option out of this kit. Uh, but they are adjustable. They could slide in and out if you want to, you know, if you go and switch out bodies on here. Uh, but nice bumper setup on this truck. Now, as you can see, it does come with wheel wells. Very awesome. I love that this truck comes with wheel wells. Kind of one of those must haves nowadays. Uh, they do come clear. And so I painted mine black, obviously. And what's really, really nice, guys, is these come pre-cut. You don't have to do it. You just paint them, pull the clear overspray film off, and mount them to the truck. So easy. Thank you so much, Vanquish. That was awesome. Uh, so those love that they're included with this kit and they key in really nicely uh, to those aluminum plates that I showed you before. And they have two mounts up front. I mean, even cut out around the shock tower post. I mean, how cool is that? That you don't have to go and take your Dremel out and grind all that away. So awesome. All right, another feature here is this low battery plate. Now it does hold standard size batteries, as you can see. Uh, there's really no uh, additional mounting option for a shorty pack if you wanted to do that I, I guess you can go and, and fab something up really quick but this does take a standard pack uh, it is a press bent aluminum plate here so it's got these little angled edges to secure the battery from sliding around in there uh, your standard velcro strap to secure the packs and this this battery mount is just really well mounted there's there's two screws here two screws here and another four back here that secure it to this plate and everything just kind of integrates into each other which makes the chassis just stronger and stronger the more you you know add Add everything in it all just locks together and makes a really really strong platform and then before i covered the you know the the sliders here they also give you a, an optional slider if you you have a different body you can just kind of mount to the side here but like i said these have uh, these little guides that allow the body to slip in and kind of lock it in place in there which is pretty neat all right now the wheels and tires on this So the wheels are a licensed KMC machete wheel. Very nice look to it, even down to the center caps. It's a six bolt style mounting adapter in there. So you've got a hub that mounts uh, to the axle and then you bolt your wheel to that hub. 
Uh, and then they also give you center caps in here and, and little plates to go over the center cap. Really nice, realistic looking wheel in here. All the way down to it, they give you the beadlock ring. So this is a true beadlock wheel on here. Really nice look to it. I like this style of wheel. I like Vanquish's other wheels, um, you know, and those cost a bit more. So this is a really nice wheel option to have on here. And then we have these VXT tires. And, and these tires, you know, they are a really narrow looking tire. Um, they've got a really good looking lug to them, but they are a bit more on the medium compound side, you know, not a super soft. So they, they've got a very stiff sidewall to them. Um, and they, they do come with a foam insert in there as well. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see if these things break in. I'm a little curious to see how they work. They, they kind of look cool. Again, a little on the narrow side, but uh, you know, overall they do fit the look of the vehicle. So I do like that. Now, finally, let's talk about the body. Here's the body. This is the origin body, kind of a vintage and modern mix to it. And uh, it's got a lot of detail molded in. Uh, and, and let's start off with the front of it. So up front, we have this plastic molded grill here. This is a, a separate grill that gets bolted on. And actually the lenses here are part of the Lexan body. But uh, you, know, you can see the stainless steel screws that they give you to mount the front of the grill you know, to the body. And then right behind it, is a basically a fake radiator, which is really cool. And they even give you uh, radiator fans and the radiator fan shrouds to go and bolt on as well. So even though you could, you barely see this, you only really see it when you pull it off, it is there, which is pretty neat. And then they do have headlight buckets as well. So you go and put LED lights in there, five millimeter LED lights, uh, and they have the cap to secure that in place. And I'll just skip to the tail lights since we're talking about lights. So we've got the tail light bezels in the rear as well. And yes, you could go and put uh, the LED lights in there. Really nice setup. Uh, they give you a uh, masking tape to go and make sure that the lights are clear. You go put that on before you paint it. And again, these bezels screw in with stainless steel hardware. We've got a red decal to cover the tail light there. So it gives it a nice cool look to it. And overall, this body looks really really cool now inside is an interior they they partnered up with night customs who designed the interior on this uh separate dashboard and then just basically you know your your seats and, and floorboards and stuff it's a molded interior piece and that piece actually spans all the way out to the rear here so you know if i were to take the interior out this rear panel would come out as well and i went ahead painted everything you see here with uh pro lines paints painted the interior uh what's also really nice is they give you all the decals to go and, and decal out the interior with with gauges uh a handlebar of uh, switches and stuff like that even down to a shifter and a steering wheel so you can really you know scale this thing out quite a bit you know even though it's a true performance truck and, and that's really what they're going for uh, but they also give you wipers with the kit they give you you know handles and what's really neat about the handles is the screw that that holds the handles in place actually secures the interior as well and then you have additional screws back here on the top of the bed that secure the interior so it's a really nice well detailed body that is also just overly designed and, and looks great and functions really well on the truck this body just looks so cool and what i didn't mention is it is also pre-cut. So everything you see here was pre-cut. I didn't have to cut a single thing on the body. Even down to the holes to screw in the bed or screw in the lights, you know, none of that has to be done. The front grill, it's all cut out for you. You don't have to do it. All you have to worry about is painting it. That is pretty awesome. All right, guys, I'm really in love with this kit. I'm not sure if you picked up on that yet, but but so far, it's just been truly awesome, and I've been dying to go out and drive it. So that's what we're gonna go do now. I'm gonna find some cool spots to see how this thing works.
Well, I just put in a lot of wheel time with the VS410 Pro, and I started off locally at one of my favorite test locations where I really put this thing through a workout. And then I decided, you know what, you guys needed to see a little bit more of this thing in action in a beautiful spot. So I drove up to the coast of Maine and drove it on some rocks there as the ocean was breaking behind it. And it was an absolutely awesome spot to go and test a, an RC vehicle. Uh, but I gotta tell you guys, I, I gotta start off with the negative here, and, and that is, getting your first scratch on this truck. I mean, I was just completely worried about scratching this thing up. I mean, this the look of the parts on this is just absolutely incredible. They did an amazing job with this truck and I and I hate to be totally gushing about it, but it was really the truth. I was really worried about scratching it up, but once I got that first scratch out of the way on the axles, then it was game on and I just took this thing and, and pushed it as hard as I can so I could tell you guys about the performance of it. And starting off with my local experience here in Connecticut, uh, you know, the rock faces are, are completely different between the two spots uh, that I tested it. And, uh, you know, here, these tires, we'll start off with the tires. I was a bit concerned that they wouldn't have the, the right grip, but they actually worked really, really well here. And, uh, you know, it just helped uh, this truck climb up a lot of the, the steep obstacles that uh, that I challenge a lot of trucks on. And this truck was the first truck that actually cleared about four spots that I've never been able to clear with another vehicle that I've tested here on the RC Driver channel. Um, so this is an extremely capable rig. The, just the way the suspension works on this, uh, the, the the smoothness of the drivetrain, and it really allows you to, to tackle some, some rough obstacles and stuff. And even the steering, there's just plenty of steering to work in conjunction with everything else. Uh, that makes this truck extremely drivable, extremely predictable, um, and, and just a, a lot of fun to drive overall. Uh, you know, I'm kind of just generalizing things, but the suspension, let me move on to the suspension. Um, it just works. It's nice and smooth. It allows everything to articulate and, and just, you know, conform to the rock and, and get this truck up and over, you know, everything that I've really encountered. Uh, you know, there is some weight to it, and that's really where the limit is on this. Uh, you know, so when I was crawling up some steep inclines, I was pushing it a bit far, and it did roll over backwards, it did roll over to the side, so you do have to keep in mind uh, the CG of this, you know, the, the, where the weight is on the vehicle. And, you know, once you do that, you can really just, you know, challenge this truck, and, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised on, on what it could do. Uh, again, the steering, plenty of steering in this truck. Uh, I, I did have it pretty much maxed out all the way. No drive shaft issues, no, you know, no binding, no, uh, no clicking on anything. Uh, so that worked out really well. Now, the, the one thing on this truck that I, I really want to point out and kind of drive home here is the drivetrain on it is super smooth. I mean, to the point where this is almost like a competition off-road buggy or truggy, uh, you know, in, in other areas of RC. Um, you know, it just freewheels so smooth that you really have to have your electronics set up properly in order to have your drag brake. So when I initially went out with this truck, I was kind of thinking that there would be some drivetrain drag and I could count on that. And, and really where it comes in is, is it has to be set in the electronics because this thing just freewheels. Uh, so, you know, if you're going down a descent and you don't have it set up properly, it will just glide down. And I mean, it's almost whisper quiet. That's how free the drivetrain is on it. So it's just something to be aware of. Make sure you have a good electronics package in here and, and you know, take the time to set it up properly before you go out. Now, I guess that leaves durability. And, you know, this thing is super tough. I mean, I hit some rocks really hard at a really good pace. Uh, the front uh, drag link bar is pretty beat up and you know that was one thing that kind of got in the way a few times was, was the front drag link bar and it, maybe I'm a little spoiled because I recently drove some trucks with a BTA link so I was a little spoiled by that uh, but you know I did notice that the offset pumpkin did help in some areas and definitely the approach angle works out really well too um, but back to durability I mean I had this thing pretty much locked up in some rocks and I was hammering on the throttle back and forth no real suspension issues to report no drivetrain issues to report either so it did take a lot of uh, just hard throttling when it was locked up and I, I, I of course wouldn't suggest doing that because you could damage your electronics or you know I, maybe you could damage the truck I don't know this thing is built pretty solid but uh, the one thing that I do want to tell you about is the the shocks two of my shocks are leaking on it um, and I kind of noticed that when I built it before and I think maybe when I put it together initially, I may have marred the, the upper shock bladder on there, um, and that's why they're leaking. But I, I, again, I'm sharing everything 
that uh, happened with this truck with you guys and so I just have to go rebuild that so the, the suspension may have looked a little soft in some of the video sections there um, and that's because there was a loss of oil in two of the shocks I mean but overall I mean the, the suspension just works so well on here it has plenty of torque it's very predictable I, I just love the way it worked you know out there uh, by the ocean that's when the tires they they had some slip to it uh, and again that, that rock face there is, is kind of smooth because of the ocean you know, beating up against the rocks and stuff like that. But there was some really harsh edges on those rocks. And I mean, this thing was hitting those edges hard and it had no problems you know, going over this stuff, uh, even getting hung up on it. I just throttle it and it would pop up and out of uh, some of the gaps and stuff like that. So really, I mean, this is a just a tank of a truck. The geometry is perfect on it. And I love what Vanquish has done here. They've really created a dream truck right out of the box. Uh, it's something that, you know, I am really going to enjoy in the future. And, and I know that, you know, again, the price tag is a little up there, but you are really getting what you pay for in this. You don't really have to do anything else uh, to really get it ready. Just put the right electronics in here and you'll probably have one of the best trucks out there to drive in any type of, of terrain, any type of event. And it's just overall an excellent off-road scale truck. <laughs>